Hello friends, in this video I will demonstrate you about using the glucose monitoring application. Well, it is a very basic application to monitor and manage your glucose and blood pressure. So let us see how it works. From the play store, you have to download it. From the play store, just type glucose monitor. The blood icon with the publisher name Manoj1985DEL, you can download it. It's for free. It's a very simple and very a compact application of just 1.9 MB so I'll install it in a flash of seconds the application has been installed okay I'll go to the application and we'll see the basics how it works basically if you see if you can see on my screen there's a blood icon called glucose monitor I'll tap it then if I if you are a new user you have to register yourself then I'll, I'll register myself let us say Manoj Singh then phone number then email id please remember that email id has to be a valid one because your monthly reports will be sent over this email id plus in case you forget your four digit pin then this pin will be mailed to your this registered mail id so I will enter an email ID and, and one email ID can be registered only once I mean for a user only one email ID can be used let us say pin is 1234 register upon registering you will see the message user registered successfully ok if you see in the at the bottom of the screen you can see the mess, some messages are there like enter a valid email id your pin will be recovered using this email id your monthly reports will be sent to this email id so email id is very important to remember so i'll press the back button then i will uh, i will log in to the application using the credentials that i have provided use, uh, while registering myself so the mail id was manoj.noida11 the rate gmail.com and the password was 1234 login okay once you log in to the application you will see the screen like this there are two activities you can see BP activity and glucose activity glucose activity is used for monitoring your glucose while BP activity is for monitoring your blood pressure so first I will look into the glucose activity I will tap the glucose activity icon Upon uh, pressing this icon, you can see four uh, buttons, feed, view, graphs, mail reports. Feed is for feeding your daily values, view is for like uh, view, graph is, shows your reports in a graphical representation and mail reports is to mailing your reports in a CSV format to anyone. Okay, so feed, let us see. Yeah. So there are three values, morning, afternoon, evening. So any time in the day, you can monitor and uh, feed some value for example in the mor in the morning the value was 84 press save so this record was saved then go back if you want to see your value okay this is the month of august so uh, since i have provided only one value so average is coming 84 then if you want to see the discrete value of date wise just tap it so for the 10th of august the value in the morning was 84 mg per dl you can see there are two dashes because the values in the afternoon and evening are not monitored yet so i can feed for the evening value also or you can you can uh, leave it but uh, let us monitor for the evening let us feed some value for evening let us say the value was 250 well quite high safe so if you see the view now the average has been changed to 167 and the values are coming like this there are some color codings also provided like uh, so if value is some uh, below some 90 or 120 the value will be green after that it will be some other color after 200 it will be the red color so like that so uh, in the, if i in this screen you will see three months data will be coming like if uh, it maintains the three months values maintaining the values more than three months is not uh, I mean I, I mean it's not a good idea because anyway those values are not required anyway the application sends you the reports at first of every month right so it does not make sense to have the data more than this so this is the graphical representation 
so this is how since here only one month average is there so that is why you you are seeing only one month average that is 167 i will show with the existing user data then mail reports in, in this field you can enter anyone's mail id be it your parents be it your children or anyone you can just or your doctor you can just mail id and press the send reports button so the report will be sent over the mail in the csv format right so this is how it works one application i find of this is like uh, you can um, your your parents or your children can have the application installed at their mobiles as well and they can monitor your day to day progress of your health so this is one more advantage plus there are many application who charge the premium for mailing the csv formats uh, csv reports in the csv format and uh, uh, so but this application is quite free so this is how it works so there's one more activity bp activity you press it again there are this is very similar to the previous one you have to feed so they are uh, this time they are upper values lower values like for example in the morning the bp was 120 by 80 just save it so if i view it in the august the average was 120 by 80 so again for in the morning the average was 120 by 80 so again if you feed the value for the evening for the for example let us say 160 by 90 160 by 90 let's say okay so if you view it you can view it for the evening as well and similarly you can see the graphical representation well upper and lower limits and again you can mail the reports to anyone you want right so there are many application which charge a premium on that the on the features that is application is providing for free right so apart from there are two options one is for refresh and one is for log off any user can log off if provide if you provide your credentials to anyone they can log off, they can log in with their credentials on the screen and they can view your data so this is quite useful in in such a way also like if i want to monitor my mother's diabetes i can simply log in with her credentials on my phone and view the day to day reports right while going to the doctor i can mail the reports to him directly on his mail and he can view on his screen or i can take a print out and uh, go to the doctor so i find this application very useful apart from that there's the option of the forgot pin in case you forget your pin then you have to supply your use email id and plus uh, you have to press the forgot pin button the your pin will be sent to your registered mail id so this is how this application works i believe this is a very simple and easy to use application and it is having the applications in quite Thank you all to install this and give give it the five stars. Thank you.